what went through your mind when you saw the first image? I mean, look, I mean, you know, firstly, we've been waiting since Christmas for this. So, you know, we got our Christmas present when the telescope was sent, but we could have been opening it for six months. You know, I was almost, uh, you could say almost literally over the moon, but much further than that. Oh, you know, literally over the millions of kilometers this telescope is. Partially because of all of the engineers and scientists, literally thousands of them, many Australians, in fact, who have been working to get this facility and telescope online. Decades of work. And this vision that we've had to say, hey, when we had the Hubble Space Telescope, it's changed our view of the universe. People have won Nobel Prizes. People have changed our knowledge of literally our existence in this cosmos from that telescope. And when that first image came, you know, we kind of knew it'd be more powerful. We knew it'd be clear. We knew to see more light. But seeing it with your own eyes, you know, they say seeing is believing, and I believe we have amazing discoveries to happen. Brad, describe these wondrous images that we're seeing today, and will you start with the Southern Ring Nebula for me? Yeah, look, I mean, the Southern Ring Nebula, this is an image that's obviously been taken by Hubble before. But when we look at these nebula, we see kind of two bright stars, one towards the center and one just off to the left. Now, in the center is what we call a white dwarf. This is something our sun's going to be in billions of years that is shed kind of like a cocoon or um, some massive eruption of all this gas. And then on that left, we have its partner star, which is going to follow the same process uh, in its future. But with the James Webb, we can see different layers of elements. So with all these colors, each color is kind of a, a, a different type of element that tells us different properties of the star. Because ultimately, as this gas goes out into space over time, it's actually going to be recycled into new stars. So you're kind of seeing the end of one star's life that is going to be transitioned and to the beginning of another. Just tell me this, the light that we're looking at in these images, how far back in time did this light actually exist or leave the surface? So from these nebula, uh, these are actually kind of what we will call them nearby. These are only thousands of light years away. We have to rescale everything in astronomy where that's nearby. Um, but that still means thousands of years ago, well beyond well, anyone here right now, this star was erupting that light in real time. And so it's taken that much time to see it. And so one of the powers of James Webb is not just being able to see further away in some of these images we've seen, but also clear. So it's able to see the things closer in a lot more detail. And that detail gives us clues to the mystery of the universe. Thank you very much indeed for sharing some of the excitement with us. Anytime.